good morning to all to all of you happy dasara now by request of some students i have produced a video including angle of inclination see here angle of inclination of a line here ab is a line c here ab is a line it is a oblique line let it cross x axis at point b let it cross x axis then we have four angles made by line with x axis if angles are here it is theta let let here it is theta means rotation of p x about point p is equal to theta and theta is the angle made by line made by line ab with positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise sense what is anti clockwise sense here p x we are making a anti clockwise sense mean this here ap ax here sorry ap and px here px rotates anti clockwise in and the amount of rotation is theta and that this angle is your angle of inclination but if you consider this angle alpha here this means x dash t or px rotate clockwise sense in clockwise sense and p x dash is your negative direction of x axis so we cannot say this is angle of inclination according to angle of inclination if the angle made by line with positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise sense positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise sense if you consider this angle we cannot say because this is the negative direction this is an angle made by line with negative direction of x axis if you consider this angle this is your positive direction but clockwise sense positive direction but clockwise sense so this cannot be the angle of inclination only this angle is angle of inclination because it is positive direction anti clockwise sense so angle made by a line with positive direction of x axis and anti clockwise sense both must be satisfied but in this case and negative direction clockwise sense in this case in this case it is negative direction anti clockwise sense in this case positive direction but sense is clockwise sense is clockwise so angle of here theta means a p x is your angle of inclination or you can say x a p is angle of inclination suppose i am considering another diagram suppose i am considering another diagram this diagram let it is x axis this is your y axis and here we are making a straight line line here line makes cross x axis let at point a this angle is the angle made by line with positive direction of x axis and in and anti clockwise sense theta this angle it is this part is your positive direction and this one is your negative direction and theta is the angle made by line with positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise sense if you consider this angle suppose this angle you are considering this is your negative direction and clockwise sense this is clockwise sense if you consider this angle it is your negative direction and this part is anti clockwise this is anti clockwise but negative direction if you consider this angle this angle just uh, see the arrows see the arrows this is your positive direction but clockwise sense clockwise sense anti clockwise this rotation is your anti clockwise rotation and e this rotation is your clockwise rotation so here this angle will be inclination angle here theta is the inclination angle next if you consider another line suppose i am considering this type of line suppose i am considering this type of line here you can say let this angle is theta this angle is 90 minus theta or sorry 180 degree minus theta this angle amount also theta and this is 180 degree minus theta but if you consider this is your positive direction this is your line and a line makes an angle theta with positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise sense this is your let this is angle number 1 so this angle will be inclination angle this cannot be inclination angle since it is negative direction 
this cannot be inclination angle since it is negative direction and lying with negative direction of x axis it cannot be inclination angle since it is with positive direction but clockwise sense so this is this cannot be inclination angle so only inclination angle is here theta only inclination angle is here theta suppose we are considering another line suppose we are considering here another line this line here it is line it is x axis and it is y axis line cross x axis at point a so a x is your positive direction a x plus is your negative direction if you consider suppose line is moving here means point a so this angle made by line with positive direction of x axis and we are measuring in anti clockwise sense so this angle will be inclination angle theta is the inclination angle theta is the inclination angle theta is inclination angle here theta is inclination angle so angle made by a line with positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise sense if we are considering any line parallel to x axis if we are considering any line parallel to x axis means horizontal lines any line parallel to x axis means horizontal line if we are considering the horizontal lines then inclination will be 0 degree then inclination will be 0 degree or 0 radian inclination always taken in radian so then in 0 degree if any line parallel to y axis then here inclination will be 90 degree any line parallel to y is vertical line in case of vertical line inclination will be 90 degree in case of vertical line inclination will be 90 degree. so this is all about the, your inclination horizontal line makes inclination of uh, 0 degree or 0 radian in case of uh, vertical line inclination will be 90 degree or pi by 2 radian 90 degree or pi by 2 radian or simply even let uh, take as pi by 2 so this is your vertical line now we are we will discuss the slope of a line what is slope see here suppose a line slope of a line suppose a line is here it is x axis you may consider any point on line let this point is a you may consider any point p on this line draw a perpendicular here m if you consider the triangle a m p if you consider the triangle a m p and this angle is theta theta is inclination here then you can tan theta is equal to p m by a m means p by b tan theta is equal to p by b p p m by a suppose we are moving further point or we are taking another point r q again you can say this is r q by a q means this perpendicular length divided by distance of line from the point where it cuts x axis to this slope perpendicular if you consider another point let it is let it is b and c then it will be we can say let this is e we can say tan theta is equal to b e by a e if you consider any point another point here suppose g h this also g h by a h the tan theta value and this is is known as your slope this is equal is known as your slope means tangent of an inclination tangent of inclination always bears a constant ratio this this ratio is always equal in case of a line this ratio or these ratios are equal so this is your slope of a line this is your slope of a line tangent of angle of inclination if you take tan theta then tan theta value will be in all the triangles this is triangle this also triangle this also triangle in all the triangles p by b is constant Suppose we are considering this point B. Here, see here, suppose this point is x1, y1, and this point is x2. When we are moving to this point to this point, the change in x coordinate is here. We are changing x as this is known as x2 minus x1. When you are moving from this point to this point, this is your change in x value that is x2 minus x1 and this is your change in y value that means y2 minus y1 
let this point is taken as x capital x now tan theta is equal to this angle theta also this angle will be theta since this is parallel to this so here tan theta is equal to y2 minus y1 which is known as divided by x2 minus x1 which is known as del y by del x which also called slope change in y by change in x is always constant for any line suppose you are considering any on a line here change in y change in y means del y means y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is always constant for any two line if change in y by change in x is not constant for any three points suppose you are taking three points p q r if change in y by change in x in p q is not equal to change in y by change in x in q r in this case p q r cannot lie on the line if p q r can lie on a line for p q r lie on a line then change in y consider two points p q change in y means y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 consider q r change in y means y3 minus y2 divided by x3 minus x2 if they are in then these, these three points lie on a line otherwise they will lie on a curve suppose we are considering p here q here r here we cannot say change in y by change in x for p q and change in y by change in x for q r are same in this case change in y by change in x in case of p q change in y by change in x in case of p r change in y by change in x should be different or in this case change in y by change in x will be different but in this case change in y by change in x must be equal because since they are lies on line so this is all about your slope and inflection and i will post uh, some videos uh, within one uh, within 5 hours today okay thank you